Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Away, so a lot of damage from our top laners in this game. Okay. We have seen some mid lane chase. Of course, uh, Chovy really liked that one as well. But uh, Keen was one of our Probs as well. So Canyon really doing well in this regard. Oh, Ooh, another hook okay. is going to come on through here as Canyon doesn't find the Shattering Strike. Big Knight actually coming on through as now Willa is in this top lane. Keen could be in trouble. Tries to look for the Hammer Boop as he's going to get taken down. There is the first blood and it goes over to clear. Oh man, okay. Very Willa. temperamental when it comes to doing like E flash. Like the angle it goes at isn't as intuitive as like a Lee Sin. Ah, uh, yeah. And he's in trouble again. Yep, Willa's coming in. The Harpoon, second one is going to land as he does manage to hammer boot back the Wukong and Clear gets another kill. This Jace not working out so far. Maybe we're going to have to go into uh, the, the, you know, the, the school of Noggery to find the 0-2 uh, the power spike for Keen. As good knockup is going to connect onto Lehen, steals his own ulti away. Come and gank them and ruin the lives because it's one of these situations where the first gank is obviously punishing. But the first gank in ends the, uh, the greatest for either side, as you said, overreaction maybe from Fear X. As Trovi taking a lot of damage from Closer, Rockets connecting. Down to about 300, as now Canyon looking for the Wukong, and he will be able to find it. Keen now burning, burning, and Clear is just huge. Oh, is he gonna survive? The answer is no. And Clear, can he get another one? Just. The Flame Spitter damage is ridiculous. Is strong as Execute and Henna will move their way up. And it looks like Package is going to be used to get back to the lane. And they will give this one up unless Canyon can go for a cheeky little steal. Over the wall he goes. And oh, down to 41. That ain't the best as Execute. He's over the wall. Magnet Storm going to be used as Canyon does use the Flash in order to get himself out of there. And Willa tried to follow, but is unable to actually lock down the rail. So. Good work for Canyon to get out, and now they're starting up another fight. Pace throwing some sticks into Execute as Henna does take a lot of damage with that one shot. Um, but the Zack one, I was kind of into, uh, just because that kit was really, really funny. Okay, Clear moving on in. He is spotted. This is an aggressive teleport from Chovy, who is going to have to get out of there. There is the Cyclone. Keen has to flash as well. The rest of Genji have found Execute, though, who is very dead, and they're unable to actually get on these solo laners. Looks like the Rift Herald is going to be secured here by Gen G. Just a little bit of a split call, and then Execute is uh, just caught by himself. Wait, we've actually seen. Oh, never mind. Chain isn't going to connect, but there is the ultimate from Lahan's great buffer on the dredge line. Is now Willa coming on in. Equalizer is in a good position, and now Pays dancing around the fight. He's going to take down the monkey first. Lahan's, how dare you survive with zero health? Oh, Firex deserved one for that as the Dawning Shadow is going to do. 1,000 gold, the lead here for Genji, as Willa finds a rocket to the face. Uh, Canyon, he's going to face check, but he is kind of one of the players that can do so. And now Fox in a bit of trouble. Lands just waiting for a target. Equalizer is decent this time around, but they're just a bit too mobile. The Flash Cyclone comes in, and that's going to be enough. Clear picking up a double. And now, Fearx can just move towards this dragon and grab the first mountain. Yeah, got to care for the poke, but it looks yeah, like the poke, so... Well, there goes uh, Canyon. Good driving there. So he's winning. And the Jace. Chovy's actually still maintaining a decent amount of rockets. Three left gives a lot of power. Oh, oh there. there's a crash down. Magnus Storm is clear. He puts down the Equalizer, but he's not going to survive through it. And Canyon, yeah, he was snared, but they managed to get themselves out. And without their rumble, and especially now that all of that money goes over to Gen G. Wow, this is tough. Specifically Chovy as well. Just yeah. got 800 gold. So in that timeout we like to talk about, Yeah. I think we just ramped it up, you yeah. know. Yeah, Yeah. I think he might be able to just go back and just build an Eclipse, right? With the more. You know, Chovy a great player, but I think Eclipse would have yeah. been the better spike. But regardless, yeah. it doesn't mean he's going to be hard to kill. Well, there's an Abyssal dive as Canyon could be in trouble here. He's taking a lot of damage. Dawning Shadow as well is going to be layered on top. Crashdown comes through, but he's still dead. Clear with the Flame Spitter. Going to be able to get some revenge after he crashed. Change either, so they can still have a fair bit of power to try and uh, defend. Yeah, the important thing is Chovy out of ammo now. Yeah. Produced. In goes Lahens. The Baron down to under 50%. They look for the turn. The Equalizer is not great. And there's the flash forward from Lahens. Clear. Oh my goodness. Closer taken down by Keen. The Fates call is massive. And Gen G 
just roll over the top. It didn't even look close. Head is flashing, but he's still going to die. It was a last ditch effort to pick up a kill onto a hands that was definitely going to die. And Ginger, like, there are some ways to make a Baron. See, here's the thing, right? So I was saying I wasn't a fan of going the more of Marmordius before the Eclipse, but all. Jovi knew that was going to happen. Yeah, and now yeah, he has yeah. both. And they just, yeah, just, just has both. Okay, the equalizer is going to be ignored here by Keen, but the flash is not very ignorable. So he's going to be taken down 2 4 and 7 now, unfortunately, for Keen. But the rest of his team are going to break open the base. And yes, you managed to kill the, uh, the Jace again, but Keen's pretty used to it. And Genji, they're used to killing uh, Nexuses and inhibitors and things like that. And they're looking to continue that little journey. And now Willa might be in a little bit of trouble, although he does have a fair bit of distance between himself and the Gen G members, so he's able to get himself. If they slow play this dragon, oh they'll get him back up. But look at the poke. Yeah, four items uh, on the cork, you remember. Um, oh, we, no. uh, we are getting big ones in the chamber. As in they go, package going to be delivered. Oh! Oza finds him, my god, the damage is huge. And he does go down, but he kills the Tom Kench in the meantime. And Fox, look at their health bars. Pace wasn't even there. Yeah, that was a 3v5. Oh, golly. Okay, well, Pace isn't going to be able to win the game off the back of this. But, yeah, this is this is what we meant. As, well, that's I a think, max range hook. Really nicely done. Lance might able, die almost, but no, never mind. Can't, I think he's not able that. to end the game off this. Oh, but uh, the game is over? The game seems pretty... Yeah, the numbers are just a little bit absurd. I feel like it gets to the point where the numbers don't even sound real when it's like... Yeah, hex deck of a trillion and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like those... It's F1 on execute, so... Six items. Oh, that's a lot of poke. Oh, that is God. Poke. Okay, uh, well, there's a Magnet Storm on to just execute. Uh, Willa looks for the Cyclone, not exactly massive value. They have so much extra mobility that they can use. That Magnet Storm was fine, but Closer not going to be able to do it by himself. Execute finally taken down. Shattering Strike, high value there as Willa. Oh, he's trying to do his best, but it's not run, really Hannah, going run. to work. Look at that, Keen able to get his revenge. And, uh, yeah, Canyon just going to be following Henna here, who wants to get back to his fountain as best he can, but I don't know whether it's going to happen. In goes Pays, but no, Henna is going to be able to make it onto his fountain. Is it safe on the fountain? I'm Another not... question possibly worth answering, but Genji going to be distracted by winning the game for the moment, as Henna finally will be taken out, and it's Chovy's rocket that is going to do it. Genji will take game one in the series. Man, just... So much damage for the Corky, honestly. He, he looks guilty, doesn't he?